is basically where I left off from the last video and I've managed to cut quite a lot of the rotten metal out there's not much good metal left to be honest discovered that there's a, a patch repair been done on the cab floor up here not quite too sure yet if I'm gonna renew that um, make it better but I've just been literally cutting the chassis rail out from the front end section there trying to get that as flush as I can and um, these linkages are going to have to come out for me to do a better job of it I'm going to have to remove um, these pe this pedal assembly the steering box is still yet to come out and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this chassis rail a little bit more flush and um, give me a little bit more room to manoeuvre about there and that's far from all the bad stuff cut out yet I've been struggling with an option for this front chassis rail now for quite a while. I've just been laying on my back looking at it, trying to fit it in and see where I can make some good welds to make it strong. The only option I can come up with so far is to cut this quite poor repair out that's been done before in the uh, cab floor section. So I'll basically cut that whole thing out and redo it. Um, but that will then give me the option of welding in the new chassis rail section from the top. This cab floor repair piece that's been previously put in is quite thin, it's almost tin like and it does flex upon me standing upon in the cab so it could do with a repair and uh, hopefully I can get some pressings rolled in there to make it a lot stronger anyway. At the moment also I'm thinking of just replacing the bottom section of this chassis rail that holds the steering box so I'll literally cut across the whole length of that and uh, just replace its bottom section out. that's looking pretty promising so now I've got access to the top of the chassis rail with the new section I should be able to cut it to shape and sort of feather it in on that top piece there and uh, put a complete weld this old steering box has been giving me some trouble and what I've resulted in doing is grinding off each castle nut just to get it away from the coupler but that's now free and I also accessed it from the top so I can get the other two nuts now um, accessed it from within the cab and what I've also found is the original horn wiring for some reason they've um, rerouted it through the front of the bus and then down the front panel so there's something else to rectify at a later date So before I even started the removal jobs under the front end of the bus I made sure that I gave everything that was coming off a good soaking of a WD-40. Um, just been trying to get this pitman arm off the actual steering box and it's not having it with the puller that I've got. Um, so I've just gone out, got myself a pitman arm puller and I picked up a can of freeze release spray just in case it still gives me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> 